This was the prevailing atmosphere across most schools on Monday morning, as teachers failed to show up for work in protest against delayed salaries. The salary delay has been an ongoing issue affecting teaching staff at both primary and secondary schools due to complications within government's payroll system. However, with months having passed, teachers argue that their financial stability and livelihoods are being jeopardized. The Grenada Union of Teachers previously warned that if the situation persisted without a solution, more drastic action would follow. Therefore, after a week of mild protest action and appeals by the GUT to the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Finance to resolve the issue, the decision was taken to down tools. Parents were seen picking up their children from school before mid-morning on Monday. Some spoke to GBN expressing the need for the situation to be resolved. They're doing what they had to do, right? Which is fair enough. They stand up for the right, but they can come across a little better, inform the people because some of the parents have to leave what they're doing now, so then the children can be in danger, nobody to supervise them, which, which I find was wrong. But always supporting the teacher 100%. Them the second parents, you know? I won't go against them, but... Well, I find the teachers should get the money for the children to get for school, you understand? And to see where we send them to school this morning and no school, you understand? And I, like I was on work, so I was to leave and just go home and organize myself to come to get them from school, you understand? So I find the government should give the teachers the money for the children to have school, you understand? Because that's all looking good to see well the, the children come to school this morning and no school. Yeah, well, I was home and looking to come for him 2 o'clock. They get a call and say come for him. So I don't really know what is going on. Well, if they ain't getting paid they, and they want to protest, it's up to them. But I don't, I don't know the full thing about it. In a press release last Thursday, it was revealed that the Minister for Education, Senator David Andrew, and his team met with the Grenada Union of Teachers on October 8th, and there was an agreement by the GUT to assist in identifying teachers affected by unpaid salaries. The following day, the GUT submitted a list of 57 teachers awaiting payment. Upon review, the ministry found that seven teachers had already been paid. Two received partial payments, five were mistakenly removed from the payroll, 21 are being processed, and 11 teachers from Karakou have been approved for payment. The ministry is awaiting further information on 10 teachers. In the meantime, the GUT has called on all teachers to remain united in their cause, with protest action expected to continue throughout the week. Rena Pet Thomas, GBN News.